everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about how to keep track of complex crochet counting patterns without having to use a stitch marker. I do use a stitch marker just occasionally, I don't have one on hand, and this system works every single time. This might sound a little complicated in the beginning when I go through the whole mathematical sequence and how I count everything, but if you stick with it to the end, I think when we review you'll see how it's not that bad and it really is a very simple and straightforward way to keep track of your count. Crochet sequences have sets. For example, when working in the round, you might have six sets of a sequence. So here is an example of a sequence. A set is what's in our parentheses, and the sequence is when you repeat this six times. This pattern is telling us to do two single crochets and an increase six times. So to have this formally written out, we have six sets, two single crochets, and an increase in each set. Increases I refer to as A, and B. A is the first stitch of an increase and B is the second stitch. I use these terms A, B because I won't confuse my increase counting with the numbers I'm already saying. And I know that if I say an A, I always need to follow up with a B. Whenever I use numbers from increases, I lose count. When counting, I count the set number first and then the stitch number. This sequence of two single crochets and an increase times six would look like this. My stitches would be one, 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 two, one A, one B. So this is single crochet one, single crochet two, increase. Then I would say for the second set, two, one, two, two, two A, B. So this is the second single crochet, second single crochet, second increase. This is set three, set three, one of three, two of three, increase, three A, B. Set four, one of four, two of four, A, B, four. Set five, one of five, so five, one, five, two, 5AB. Set six, set six, one single crochet, set six, second single crochet, six AB. So what does this actually look like when I'm crocheting? Here is my sequence. I have six single crochet in a magic ring. So now I'm gonna do six increases. We have one A, one B. That's my first increase. Two A, two B. Second increase, three A, three B, four A, four B, five A, five B, six A, six B. And that's my second row. So now I'm going to do an increase and a single crochet six times. So I'm going to do 1A, 1B, 1, 2A, 2B, 2, 3A, 3B, Three, four A, four B, four, five A, five B, five, six A, six B, six. And you can see I went all the way around and I have the correct number of stitches. Now let's do the next one. Two single crochet and an increase. So this I'm gonna say one, one, because that is set one, stitch one. One, two, set one, stitch two. One A, one B. Now I'm up to set two, so I'm gonna say two, one. Two, two. Two A. 2B. Set 3, 3, 1. 3, 2. 3A, three, 3B. Three, Set 4, 4, 1. 4, 2. 4A, four, 4B. Four, 5, 1. 5, 2. 5A, 5B, 
six one, six two, six A, six B. Now I'm going to use a stitch marker to show that the counting is correct. We're up to one single crochet and increase three single crochets five times and increase two single crochets. I'm going to do my one. Let's put it in the stitch marker. Now I'm going to do one A, one one, one two, one three. Then we have 2A, 2B, 2A, 3B, 4A, 4B, 4B, 5A, 5B, 5 3 And then we end with an increase, we're just going to say A, B, and then two single crochets. One, two. When it's the last two stitches, I don't bother with any kind of counting sequence. Alright, and there it is, completely correct, even though I didn't use a stitch marker for the previous rounds. We have four single crochet and an increase all the way around. And I'm just going to take out my stitch marker, I'm going to do it without a stitch marker. So we have one one, one two, one three, one four, one A, one B. Two one, two two, two three, two four, two A, two B. Three one, three two, three three. 's use the stitch marker again to see if it's right. So now we're going to do two single crochets and increase five singles, increase three, two single crochet. So in the beginning here, I don't bother with any kind of fancy sequence counting just because it's a split set where one half of the set is completed on one side and one half is completed on the other. So we just have one and two. Now we begin our sequence. We have the increase and the five times five. So 1a, 1b, one one, one two, one three, one four, one five, two A, two B, two one, two two, two three, two four, two five. And then we're up to an increase in three. So we have A, B, one, two, and so on. Sometimes it's not as cut and dried where you'll have single crochets and increase and then single crochets all in one set. So what do we do in this case? The way I would count this one is I would say one, 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 two, one A, B. And then because this is the back end, I would say two, one, two, two. 
just so that I know that the one in this case, my first one is gonna to refer to the first set within the set. Then we have the increase and then I would do twos here to refer to the second leg of this set. In this case, you're not able to count each set along. You could, but it might get a little cluttered where you would say one, 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 two, one AB, then one, two, one, one, two, two. This is definitely flexible. You can make this make sense to you in whatever way you want. I would do one, 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 two, one A, one B, and then to refer to the second leg of that set, two, one, two, two. And then I'd start over again. One, 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 two, one A, one B, two, one, two, two. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this is just a way to keep track of your crocheting, especially with counting. It's the worst when you lose track of what you're doing. And then you have to start over again, which is so annoying. And I feel like this sequence in particular, when I do not follow this system, I'm constantly losing track of the back end of the set here, this second set. And sometimes what I'll end up doing is I'll do this and then I'll forget to do the first leg of the next set. So there's something about this AB, at least it works in my mind, that I'm able to keep track of the stitches better. I hope this video was helpful. If you have your own way of keeping track of your counting and stitches, please let me know. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.